Commission of the Fair is read. God save the Queen! The Right Worshipful, the Mayor of this town, does give you all notice that there is a free fair to be kept this day within this town of Great Tyneton. During the time of which Mayfair, Mother Mayor of this town, in the Queen's Majesty's name, does strictly charge and command all and every person and persons whatsoever to observe and keep the peace of the kingdom. And that all buyers and sellers do use true balances, weights and measures, and truly do pay their toll customs, coverage, and other duties as they ought to do. And all manner of victuallers bringing any kind of victuals to this fair to be sold, do see that the same be good, lawful, and wholesome for man's body, and to sell the same at reasonable prices. And that all manner of persons do use and behave themselves quietly and orderly according to the laws. And do not make any assault or affray, riot, rout, or unlawful assembly within this fair on pain of receiving such punishment as is to meet for such offenders. If any injury or wrong committed or done to any person within this town during the fair, upon complaint thereof made, shall be reformed according to justice by God's grace and assistance. God save the Queen. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen of Great Torrington. I'm very honoured to have been asked to speak and just say a few words on this, the most special of Torrington days, in my capacity as one of the town mace bearers. About 15 years ago, when I flew the nest and went off to be educated and then embarked upon my teaching career, I learned a new meaning of the name homesickness. As every year, I looked from afar at the fun that was being had in my hometown on every first Thursday in May without fail. And yet, my disappointment was always tempered by the knowledge that this town was enjoying itself on a day that is probably more special than any other in its calendar. And yet, when I thought about the possibility of a Mayfair not taking place for one year, I could not imagine it. To think of Mayfair not taking place for two years running defied belief. And yet here we are. Particular sympathy must surely go to our children and young people, a generation of whom have missed out on the Mayfair celebrations that generations before them took part in. A generation of young people who have not been able to dance around the Mayfair Maypole on Mayfair Day. A generation of young people who have not had the anticipation of wondering what the theme of the costumes is going to be this year. Surely the best kept secret in the town. And a generation of young people who have not known whether the plat will be performed correctly or whether it will end in a tangled mess as it did on practice night or more likely as happens so often every child hits their mark and it is done without fault perhaps so much of mayfair is about the anticipation and perhaps we may dare to anticipate that this generation of young people may be consoled and compensated in some other way in years to come Sometimes when I am asked what makes Great Torrington great, it is tempting to point to Mayfair and say, that is what makes this community great. And yet, in two years where we have not been able to hold our traditional Mayfair celebrations, we must look to other things that show the greatness of our town and what examples we have to draw upon. I have mentioned the sacrifice of our young people in not taking part in traditions, and a sacrifice it is but it has not been in vain. Instead, look to our community for greatness in the ways that we have looked out for our neighbours, picked up prescriptions, 
turned our kitchens into classrooms, as this teacher knows only too well, and the ways that we have tried to protect each other in this most challenging of times. And therefore, by missing our traditional celebrations, we have been great. And so, with that in mind, we are and will always be Great Torrington. And as we place the ZE in 2022. Thank you very much. I don't think any of us thought we would be in this situation for a second time, with our beloved Mayfair being cancelled once again. The safety and well-being of our community is the biggest priority and I know the people of Great Torrington will not let this day go by without celebrating in their own way and looking back on fond memories of Mayfair's gone by. Mayfair is a time when families and friends come together to enjoy the town's rich heritage. The town centre would be full of excitement and lots of people eagerly anticipating Great Torrington's biggest secret, the May Queen and Entourage outfits. We will miss again being part of the parade and watching the children perform around the Maypole. Whilst all of this activity is missing today, it is important to recognise the day and the historical tradition of reading the proclamation outside the town hall. Later today, I will be visiting the primary school to meet the entourage of 2020 and present the children with their outfits. We were all devastated when Mayfair 2020 had to be cancelled I cannot imagine how the children must have felt after being so excited to be chosen to perform such an important part of our special day. The same goes for the Carnival Queen and her attendants, who will also receive their beautiful dresses. The children and young people have all taken everything in their stride and have been so understanding. They have all dealt with this situation so maturely and I am very proud of each and every one of them. Mayfair, as I'm sure it is for a lot of Torretonians, is one of my favourite days of the year. We begin to see the weather changing, the day is getting longer, and we know Mayfair will soon be here. I have such lovely memories of Mayfair over the years, with the May Queen procession, country dancing, and the morning service, and Maypole dancing all playing a huge part. The most important part for me, however, is seeing how the town comes together. I like to think, with everything that's gone on over the past year, when we can finally join together and celebrate another Mayfair as a town, Togetherness and community spirit will be bigger and better than ever. We are such a strong community, and I know we will come out of the pandemic even stronger. I want to finish by saying a huge thank you to everyone who has been involved in Mayfair and Carnival Committee over the last 12 months. It's not an easy task organising a Mayfair in usual times, but this has proven to be an extraordinary year and has meant a lot of tough decisions. The whole committee is committed to Mayfair and decisions to cancel have been extremely difficult to make. Also, big thanks must go to Stephanie Fisher, the chosen dressmaker for 2020. She worked hard at the beginning of 2020 to start making the outfits, and it is only now that they are being presented to the children. Stephanie worked really hard with passion for all she does, and we are grateful for her contributions. However you choose to celebrate today, whether that be with family and friends in the garden, or a walk around our beautiful town, Please enjoy an albeit different Mayfair day, and as we play to see you soon. <laughs>